Uh, this new cement is composed basically by cement, but we have added some conductive materials such as carbon fibers, carbon nanofibers, or uh, any other uh, carbon based materials to make it conductive. That is good for because we can enhance uh, some multiple applications uh, apart from that uh, the structural one. So we can introduce new uh, functions to this concrete in order to uh, uh, enhance its uh, applicability. Well, some special application that can be planned for these new materials could be the control of structural, structural vibrations, the heavy traffic monitoring, room occupancy detection, and safety teams, among others, of course. But we can also use it as a heating element for uh, the icing uh, infrastructure, such as uh, highways, bridges, and uh, landing strips. And also, we can use it to uh, to to make uh, to prevent uh, electromagnetic uh, interference or radiations to come in uh, rooms or get out from rooms. So uh, we can have a new versatile material, much more uh, capable of, of just concrete. By means of this this type of material, we can try to introduce new uh, new ways to prevent, for example, corrosion made by the ice and salt just by using a heating element in the, in, the, in the bridge, for example. So we think that is a new advance that can be, that has to be explored with much more knowledge than we have now, but it's interesting to do it. It is now that the main function of concrete, concrete is his structural function. On the other hand, concrete is a dialect, so it's a back, it's a back on electricity. However, this of a carbonation material such as carbon fiber or graphite powder transforms the resulting mixture into a conducting material. And this yields the possibility of using this material for, for other functions different the structure. That is, it can be considered a multifunctional material, really.